that's Amy. She was my best friend. The times he had to give up. You wouldn't believe some things he got up to. Or maybe you would. I can trust you, can't I? Well, it happened last summer. I heard that Amy had been from my boyfriend David behind my back. I asked her if there was any truth in the rumours, and she said yes. It was as though my feelings come from nothing. You've no idea how hurtful that was. I didn't care about David. It, it wasn't serious, but there was no excuse for the deception. Every time we talked and laughed like friends do, she'd been lying. A whole month of laughing and lying and laughing and lying. I just wanted to talk to her. I wanted her to see how hurt I'd been. On Sunday, when I knew that she'd be walking her dog down by the river, I waited for her on the bridge. There she was, carefree and happy in the sunshine. I'd lost weight. I'd shut myself away. I ran after her. A pathetic little dog kept snapping at my heels. I wanted to kick it, but I was trying so hard to be reasonable. Then she turned her back on me. Nobody does that. I watched her walk away. I ran a hole of all the speed I had in me. I slammed my hands to the back and she screamed and fell forwards, sprawled out on the footpath. She shook her head on the stone slab at the edge and went over into the water. She floated in a standing position, her head just above the surface, her arms up to her side. She was just staring. Then she gasped for air, and her eyes came alive. She started screaming and thrashing about what someone was going to hear the commotion, so I moved to the edge of the path and placed my foot on top of her head. I pushed on smoothly, and she sank. It took longer than I expected for the bubbles to stop coming from her mouth, but when they did, she was completely still. My leg ached. I lifted my foot, and she stayed there. Her hair spread out around her. I saw my reflection in the water. Someone saw her over the bridge. So she be kidding the minds of business. You may have noticed that I like to have things facing me. My little ornaments, see? Eh? Everything. Really. Amy will always face me now. You are going to be a friend, aren't you? You'd never turn your back on me, would you? Because if you can't be trusted, you'll remind me of Amy and well. That wouldn't be good for either of us, would it? 